We are now at Grand Auto Design. This is the place where I got the PPF, well, it's a Lumar pain protection film wrapping and uh, uh, the Ceramic Pro. No, wait, yeah, Ceramic Pro. So, uh, coating. And um, uh, it's been one year now since I got all that stuff applied. And now we're back here and Manta's going to show me, uh, they will do some maintenance. Uh, just check over the car maybe do some corrections um, and also this this rear glass here was replaced due to warranty there was a small issue there was something burned over here whatever production fault so uh, the film there <laughs> uh, is now gone so they're going to, going to add the new film tinting yes so all right let's uh, check out then hi everyone uh hi bjorn <laughs> okay so uh it's been one year now and uh, we, having, uh, we have done the full paint protection film on this car and uh, now it's time for the maintenance. And uh, this is a really important step uh, to keep your uh, sort of like a investment protection uh, in the highest level. And uh, there are some steps involved into that and every one of you should, uh, should follow those steps. Uh, because, of course, you paid a lot of money, you love the car, you're taking care of the car, you wash it regularly, and uh, you want it to be always on a top spot condition. So, what we are going to do now, in those uh, upcoming couple days, we're going to go around all the car, and uh, since the winter season is over now, it's been a lot of salt, a lot of stones everywhere, so it might be some imperfections in the paint protection film and we, we really need to take care of them now instead of later because eventually the problem can become a bigger. So uh, basically what, what that means is that we are going to go around every single edge, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna take a look, uh, do we have some kind of small lifting marks, okay? Maybe, maybe some sort of dirt, uh, maybe it started to peel off and the dirt went under the edge and then it's uh, suddenly peeling off. So this is a really good example. So we have a really tiny spot, so we can see that a bit of dirt is under here. So eventually, most of the times it's, Nothing to fix too much, but what we are, what we can do is we can just trim, make a small U-shape trimming, and just remove that small piece, and that's definitely fine. And then we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we have also some the dirt under the edge here, and also at the same time you can see that it's slightly lifting here. The reason for that is because you can see that uh, when we're placing the patterns. Uh, we need to match, there, there's some sort of rules where the edge needs to finish, but you can obviously see, obviously see that everywhere else is, is fine, but except here. And the reason for that is because this edge is exactly on the bend, all right? So it's supposed to be, on, supposed to be done either fully inside or either slightly before the edge. That way you're going to avoid these type of problems in the future. But this is easy fix, again, we just trim it very slightly, it's going to be invisible, it's going to look symmetrical again, and all is going to be fine. So no need for replacement, easy, easy problem solution. So, so, we're going to go, so we're going to go all around the car, we're going to look for these type of problems. We already checked it a bit, it's not just a couple of spots, but we're going to show you this in the video further on. And uh, the next step we are going to do, uh, this car was, uh, has been coated after all with the Ceramic Pro, so now it is, it is also good and the best time before the summer to uh, do the Ceramic Pro maintenance. So what we're going to do is we're going to wash the car and we're going to apply the maintenance kit on it. Also we're going to do the same for the glasses. And uh, yeah, that's it. And uh, from there the car is fresh again and ready to hit the streets. Yeah.
Okay guys, so we just finished the inspection and uh, overall the car looks really good. I'm super happy with the result in the period of one year. There's no major lifting, uh, nothing is bubbling, peeling off and uh, I'm super happy. I can see that he really took care of the car, that is a really important step to do it. So uh, let me just show you what exactly we found. So overall, if I am, I'm gonna try to put the camera as close as possible. But you can see that the edges here, they're super clean. We still haven't done nothing, only the regular car wash. Now I can see a bit, a bit dirt over here on the sides, but I'm pretty sure that like we can just clean it. And here we go, it's clean now. We can see some stuff here, so it gets cleaner. So overall, all the edges are looking fine. Nothing is peeling too much. And then uh, let's take a look at here. I think it looks good. What about wheel arches? Um, he has a mud flaps, that's fine. But no, no major lifting whatsoever. But though, we found a couple of problems. So first of all, I'm not sure if you see here, but here is a black line. All right, so this is, the material is peeling one millimeter maybe. So we, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just trim that edge. The reason why it's peeling is because it is, it, the material is hanging on the curve here. Okay, so that curve is already too difficult for paint protection film. So we basically have two choices, either you push material completely inside or you leave it before the curve. All right, so accept that understand that. Now, if you're going to put the material all the way inside, you can have a problem what's called the puckering effect. So the film can, the two parts pushing in the film together and you have huge wrinkles, here. okay? So the same we have over here. So we have a, this is a bit more uglier, but it's not that it's like peeling, but it's more like a dirt, but something is under there. So eventually we're gonna need to trim this also. All right, then we have, we found something on the front bumper. All right, he had the unplugged performance slip. I'm not sure maybe that could affect also the, the reason why it's lifting, because if I remember, it, it was placed over here exactly. But anyway, we're gonna fix that. We're gonna also trim a bit. Yeah, parking sensors, all is good. Under, all is good. So, all right. So we also found, where was that? I don't even know where is that. Mirrors are fine. Mirrors, we did one piece, by the way. So you can see, nothing is lifting. Let's take a look from the backside. All right. So nothing is lifting, super cool. Uh, yeah, we found uh, over here, some really minor trimming. Around the door handles, everything looks super clean, super nice. Uh, here, edges, looks clean. That's good, nothing is peeling. Here is a bit dirt, nothing to trim here. We're gonna clean this way. We're gonna show you how to do that. So you can do this in the home. And uh, yeah, overall looks good. All right, so actually we forgot to mention a couple of important uh, places. We found uh, one uh, slightly bigger lifting. I'm gonna show you now. I uh, hope you can see that. So under the mirror here, there is this black line. And uh, honestly, I have no idea why it's lifting that much. Yeah, I mean, it's not very, very bad, but we're gonna need to trim this also. Yeah, so uh, very hard to guess why it's peeling, should not peel like that in this spot, but uh, I've seen this before also, quite casual problem for this car. And also we got another spot where was, uh, where was the, here. So focus, all right. So you can see there's a bit dirt here. And here is also a bit dirt. Here's the dirt, so we're gonna clean that. Like I mentioned before, we're gonna show you how to do that. So no need to panic for these things, just go to your installer and ask him, ask him to trim away or clean it. 
but uh, nothing bad is going to happen. Like I said, this is completely normal with pain protection film. It takes one millimeter. It takes one millimeter for one mistake, and eventually that edge is going to lift. Yeah, and especially on the white car. I mean, on the on on on, on the black car, you're not going to see that much because it's black, of course. But on the white, everything gets exposed. So, no need to panic. Just uh, go to your installer, talk friendly, ask him to clean. If you have a cleaner, you can clean yourself. If you need to cut, maybe don't do that. Let the job to be done for professionals. Also, spoiler, we got, uh, if I remember correctly, it was uh, quite a bit of discussion about the spoiler. So, as you can see, everything still sits in the place like it should sit. We haven't used any adhesive promoter. Yeah, the secret to this is just correct placement, heating the corners, yeah, pressing it down. Everything is still flush, it's not wiggling. So, very good. Okay, so the window is ready to get shrinked and there is basically two ways to do this. So either you do it halfway, so the film stops here and goes all the way down, or either you do the full way. The minus that when you're doing a halfway is that from inside of the car you are going to see the two different colors, okay? So here is gonna be tinted and here is gonna be a natural original color of the glass and you're gonna see two different contrasts. So in my personal opinion, when looking through the back mirror, it looks really horrible. And the reason why installers are not doing full window and they're doing a halfway instead is because one, they just don't know how to do it. Two, they're either cheating you, trying to save material, who knows? As a professional, for me, the only way is to do the full window, only full window, like rest of the cars. So, in my personal opinion, halfway is not even existing. So we're gonna shrink this window, then we're gonna prep from inside, and we're gonna install the film. So the shrinking is done. I'm gonna just rip it off the excess. We can cut it around gently, not rushing. Okay. We still have some few fingers, we're gonna need to shrink them down. And then we will jump in to installation. All right, so now we need to clean the back window. So we're gonna put some sort of towel to just absorb the water, which is dripping on the floor. We also already pre-installed the soak rope, which is laying behind the glass. So all the water which is dripping back there has been absorbed by that rope. And we're just gonna place the towel here. Like that. I'm gonna spray the water all the way on the window. Then we're gonna use a scratchable sponge to remove all the debris from the window.
Okay, so the window tint is done now. Here's a quick shot, how everything looks. Some humidity over here is gonna evaporate. Let's just open the doors and see how it looks from inside. Here we go. One piece, clean look, one color. Real nice. All right, so now we are going to do some ceramic frost port. So after that, the ceramic is going to be cleaned, refilled, and the car is going to be super hydrophobic back again. So, and the very last step is to just uh, reapply the Ceramic Pro glass. We're gonna give one more coat, especially for the front window, and that would be it. Okay, so we have finished Bjorn's car. It's ready. Uh, paint protection is now clean again. Ceramics is applied. And uh, let's quickly take a look how it looks. So, one year, not a single scratch on the paint. Everything looks glossy. Feels like the car is still brand new. That's amazing after one year. Yeah, so the windows are applied with the ceramic. Uh, we refreshed also the top coat with ceramic frost port. We fixed a couple mi uh, minor problems on the paint protection film. Every edge is now clean. Uh, we also applied the window tint on the back window since the window was replaced. The window was replaced due to a heat line crack. It was somewhere here. That's a typical problem for this car all right so now we just uh, now we just uh, wait for the Bjorn and uh, we'll see what he says all right it's been one day now since I delivered the car here to Grand Auto Design and it's done yes so um, it looks so nice and fresh now yeah so you know what, I will let Mantas uh, walk through what they have done uh, with the car and the paint and everything. The whole, uh, again, it has Lumar paint protection film on the bottom and then Ceramic Pro on top again. Ooh, but it looks so nice now. But it also did look very nice already before the, the maintenance. Yes, yeah, so... Uh Glad that you are happy with the car. We are also very happy, very excited. The car looks really, really amazing after one year. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you have been driven uh, approximately 50,000 kilometers in one year. So we, we couldn't found any kind of physical damages on the vehicle, not a single scratch, not a single stone chip, even in the paint protection film. So uh, very, very happy with the final result and no issues with the paint protection, couple minor, issues but nothing major and uh, yes so very happy that uh, someone who's going to get that car one day in the future he's going to be very very happy because the car is really looking brand new and thanks for the paint protection film so uh, like you mentioned before we did the maintenance and this is what we recommend to every single person who has paint protection film either you have a front uh, fa fascia or you have a full paint protection film installed I would really recommend go to your installer, ask him to do the maintenance, especially after winters, after those rough seasons. It's a lot of snow, a lot of salt and everything. And on paint protection films, since it's a very thick film, it might be some really minor, minor problems that your installer can really fix them. 
and uh, just you need to take care of the film uh, like I mentioned before in the installation it is it is not a vinyl wrap it, it's slightly different so the maintenance is the key to have a really nice result so what we did for Bjorn today uh, is that uh, we went we washed the car of course we removed all all the contaminants um, all the contaminants uh, uh, from under the part it was uh, from the bottom of the car it was not a lot of them but it was some kind of asphalt sticking some iron a bit uh, but that was very easy to remove it so what we did is we washed the car uh, we also went around all the paint protection film we trimmed a couple millimeters from there and there uh, nothing super special after that, we also reapplied, uh, um, refreshed the, the maintenance for Ceramic Pro. We use the Ceramic Pro Sport. It's Cure Plus as for today. Uh, and this really, really cleans the ceramic and really refills everything where it's missing. And the hydrophobicity is really now back on track 100% for the rest of the year. And uh, so this, this is supposed to be the casual maintenance also for the people, either your car is wrapped or not wrapped, you should really take care of the ceramic coatings. They're, they're made to, let's say, dissolve and uh, they're not made to stick for the car for the rest of the life. You need to maintain them to keep the car in the best shape. Yes. So we redid all the ceramic. We also reapplied the, all the glasses. So the glass is now again hydrophobic and repellent. And we also, since the back window was replaced due to the factory problems, we also reapplied the window tint. So now again, the window tint is back and the car looks amazing now in top condition. Spoiler is okay, by the way. Yes, uh, I mentioned this also before. Uh, was a lot of discussion, but uh, yes, super happy. Super happy that Bjorn uh, chose for this product because he is driving a lot of and everyone who really loves their cars and wants to have the car in the top condition every single day, I, I really think that this is the only way to go. Uh, the paint protection film is, is just priceless. So, yeah.